So here's a quick one about a guy, a father and husband after seven years of marriage, who finds out that he's been wronged by his wife in the worst possible way. And of course, he's now handling it accordingly, kicking her the curb. And even though he's been wronged horribly, he's being made out to be the villain by his wife, by his mother, by his sister, demonstrating how so many times they all stick together, even if the guy is wronged. Titled, Am I the a-hole for starting the divorce process, process after finding out my daughter isn't mine? Yeah. He says, My life feels like a bad drama show at the moment. For some context here, me, a 33-year-old male, and my wife, a 30-year-old female, have been married for seven years, and what I thought was our daughter is three years old. Looking back, this all started after my wife gave birth to her daughter. Seven years of married to her. Three-year-old daughter, probably the, the, the his joy in life, and now finds this out. She suddenly became a lot more affectionate to me and was a lot more active with me in the bedroom life. She also made my favorite desserts a lot more often. She's a fantastic baker, and I, of course, didn't suspect anything since... Even prior to her pregnancy, there were no signs of cheating, but also possibly could be I just didn't choose to look for it. Yeah, when guys are happy and on cloud nine, they're, not, they're, they're you know, they want to trust their wives. They want to believe that they love them and wouldn't do anything that you hear about. Well, this whole fiasco started two weeks ago after a day out with her daughter, and she just sat me down in the evening and came clean about the fact that her daughter wasn't mine. And her waterworks, of course, also started, and apparently it was the guy from the gym, and it lasted a month before he disappeared on her after he found out she was pregnant. He's, he's probably just, like, numb hearing that. Now, here's a question. Why, after three or some years, after him believing this little girl was his and some other dude's child, did she suddenly, you know, decide to tell him? What brought, what brought that on? Did she run into the guy? Was this guy suddenly make, making claims that he now wants to be part of the girl's life? Something, right? And of course, the waterworks. Honestly, even typing this now, I feel like crying since I thought I did everything perfect, but she still cheated. Bro, there's no shame. No shame in crying. Just don't let her see you do it. As much as I wish I could say I, handle, I would have a stone face or something, I just started crying, and she tried to comfort me, but I just pushed her away. I felt so disgusted by her. Well, he couldn't hold it in, but you know what? You don't want to see him cry, but it's understandable. Yeah, I'd be disgusted too on multiple fronts. You've been robbed. After I calmed down a bit, I just grabbed my jacket and left for a hotel, and while I was leaving, she just begged and pleaded me to forgive her, and that I was the only father her daughter knew. Well... Her father, her, the daughter apparently has another father out there. Now you can all see where this is going here. And this guy has some very serious decisions to make. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's his life. And he's going to do what he's going to do. Regardless of what is what his soon to be ex-wife thinks or his family or, you know, 10,000 angry Redditors. Uh, after crying myself to sleep in the hotel the next day, after I turned on my phone. And I see that she had blown up my phone and didn't read any of it and just blocked her. After having a little bit of breakfast, I contacted a lawyer to start the divorce process. And at work, I just asked for some time off. My boss gave me a full month. That is a pretty awesome boss. When you're back on track, definitely show your appreciation to your box. boss. Maybe a, a gift card out to his favorite restaurant, a six-pack, something. Something for that guy helping you out. That's great. And uh, that's great. He found a lawyer right away. Find out your options. By the evening, my mom and sister were calling me on her behalf and were on her side, and, and that just hurt me even more. So it's bad enough this guy's going through this whole thing. I mean, guys, put yourself in his shoes. Your wife's cheating on you, and your daughter isn't yours. Your only child is not yours. For who you've... For three years, right? And now mom and sister are on her side. Now, possibility that she obviously made up a whole bunch of bullshit and told them. Very likely, but regardless, they should be calling you for support to listen to your side of the story here. But they're on her side. Now you realize that you got two other people that you thought were on your side and along your life. That is when, goodbye, bye mom, bye sister, fuck you. Because one day I'm going to heal and you're not going to be a part of my life anymore. That gets worse. While I'm not proud to admit this, I did drink myself to sleep that night. Bro... I rarely drink, and I would probably drink myself to sleep that night after going through all that shit. I had some Chinese food, then I'd drink myself to sleep. 
After that night, I started staying with my, my best friend and my mom, and sister kept spamming me and calling me. After a few days later, after she probably got the divorce papers, my mom just sent me a long text that, that to summarize was that I should step up and forgive her and not abandon my daughter, and that she would disown me if I went through with the divorce. So she's not saying I'll disown you if you, you know, no longer care for that girl, the daughter, but I'll, I'll, I'll disown you if you get a divorce against the cheating wife who did all that and lied to you all those years and all that. Okay, mom, have a nice life. But one day when I obviously get over things and I'm a relationship guy, maybe I get married again to the right one and have real grandkids. You're not going to see those grandkids, bitch. This poor bastard. My mom, and my sister and mom are against me divorcing her, but my best friend and his wife are saying that I have the right to not want to be with her or take care of the kid. Thank God he has friends. I'm split on this. On one hand, I did raise the baby for three years. On another, I don't know if I could, in the right mind, raise the remainder of my wife, have the raise the remainder of my reminder my wife's of her affair. He says, to put into context here, my sister is infertile, so I think that's also part of why my mom doesn't want me to continue the divorce, since she will lose her grandchild. Well, of course, there's going to be some selfish motives here. But, uh, and the sister, he's just a fucking asshole. This is also why you control the narrative. As hard as it was, he should have contact, but it was all quick. Notice that he just wanted to go tonight to the hotel, figure shit out. Already, mom and sister know. Now for an update. And by the way, guys, in the comment section, I saw him responding to lots of comments. Apparently, he was being just, the Reddit brigade was just really wearing into this guy, giving him a lot of shit for everything here, to no surprise. Not on this channel. He says, hello, everyone. First up, I want to say I'm, I'm high in emotion and drunk while typing this, so excuse any writing mistakes. Yeah, not good to drink and type. Also, I want to thank everyone that has supported me and sent me nice messages. Now on to the update. After seeing a lot of advice, I decided to meet up with my wife in a cafe today. My best friend and his wife were there as well, just in case she tried to pull anything. Very smart. I'm just going to keep it short. She tried apologizing and just didn't want to hear, hear it and asked what I wanted to ask her, why she cheated and if she already had done a DNA test like I suspected. And the reason she gave is the main cause why I'm drunk is my best friend in his guest room. So you can tell he wrote this drunk because there's always run on sentences. She cheated because the guy was attractive and she, wait for it, made a mistake. No, that's not a mistake because obviously she hooked up lots of times with this guy. Oh, he was attractive. Okay. Isn't that a bitch? Give someone all you have and one attractive dude comes in and she fucks you right over. And yes, yeah, she already has taken the DNA test and my daughter isn't mine. I'm still going to take the DNA test for proof in court as well as just to make peace with it. I've also blocked my mom and sister and will probably give my mom a visit in the coming weeks to give her peace of my mind. Good for you. Yeah, that's about it. My wife just fucked a guy because he was attractive. Ain't that a bitch? Sorry this isn't the update you wanted to, but yeah. Also, to everyone who's playing to say that, who that is playing to say for me to reconcile with her, go fuck yourself unless you know what I'm feeling at the moment. Don't take the moral high ground. I don't blame for saying that. Everybody's giving a hard time here. So, yeah, she made a mistake. Blah, blah, blah. Now, at this point, yes, go through the divorce. And as for the girl, now here's the thing. The victim in the story is this guy. And also the victim is the little girl. It is not the little girl's fault, okay? And it really is a damn shame. But at the end of the day, he's going to have to do what's best for him. You know what I mean? And whatever choice he makes, it's his. You know, I'm hoping that when he calms down and, and the dust settles, he realizes that little girl's not his fault. And, and there'll be something there. I know some guys that would head for the hills, never look back. Can't blame them. It's their life. Other guys would have a relationship with a girl regardless. Who knows? But, you know, it, it, I feel bad for the little girl as well as this guy here. But as for his very soon-to-be ex, the hell with her. And the hell with his mother and sister. He doesn't need him. And I'm convinced, just like doing a spring cleaning in your house every year, guys, when you get rid of some old books or old clothes or old stuff you don't use anymore to clear up room, you got to do that with people in your life about every five to ten years, you know. And sometimes it's family when, they, when you realize they are not on your side. Now a few comments here before I wrap this up. One guy says, the problem was never you. Cheaters cheat because they have no morals or character and are often entitled narcissists. You can be the most perfect husband and does everything right and the world and the world man and she still would have cheated simply because she wanted to. 
Remind your mom that you'll probably remarry one day and have biological children. If she keeps doing what she's doing, remind her she will never have a relationship with them because she's she isn't supporting you. There you go. Play hardball. Another one. That's it. Don't give in. People that are saying to reconcile can certainly go F themselves. You're the only one who can choose how it goes from here. Your wife and your mom does not. They don't have the right. Only you do. Leaving the relationship is best for you, especially if your daughter is not yours. If you choose to stay, there's a high chance you'll regret it later in life and become more depressed. Guys, I have done so many stories where guys have been in bad situations similar or kind of like this. And they then, it was a miserable marriage because they never trusted their wives again. They never looked at the kid the same again. They were depressed all the time. It was just a big freaking mess. And they then said, I wish I would have just gone and divorced her and yeah, the whole thing. Guy also says, earlier the better. I would say different if the child was yours, but if it isn't, then it's a totally different matter. Blood is important. Choose what's best for you. You are the male victim of this, the main victim of this. People will pull this crap like this. The child is the victim, but that's full of crap. You are the victim, the main victim. That child is the victim of your cheating wife and the other dude only. The child certainly isn't a victim of you or your effing action from now. From your future from your future action from now okay so isn't it interesting how the guy got her pregnant and then all of a sudden whoosh, he's gone head for the hills once she got pregnant isn't that, isn't that typical the chad and tyrones yeah that guy you know owes you some fucking money maybe talk to the lawyer and see if they can go after that guy and track him down who knows who knows but anyhow he'll do what he's going to do with regards to the daughter and again that guy whose last comment was understandable but there's two victims here, the guy, of course, and the kid, because it's not the little girl's fault, for heaven's sake. And I just hope that this little girl one day doesn't turn up to some one of these gals we have nowadays that have the daddy issues, and you all know what I'm talking about here. But anyhow, shocker, mom and sister on, on her side, not on his, but I hope he stands strong, and in the end, he will be okay.